All right, today I'm going to show you how to fix your Andy Emerald emulator. Um, I made this tutorial in German already, but I'm just going to show you. So uh, I hope you're okay with my German accent. Um, you most probably going to have um, this issue if or this issue without this window. Um, if you're clicking on this link and I had this issue too, and I need to needed to like simulate it right now, just so I can show you guys. It's actually e very easy to fix, but it's kind of tricky to find out. And um, I did not really find any fix to it in the internet, um, so I just like made this, just making this like right right now. Um, if you install it um, from the website, just normally download it and install it. You should have like those two. Um, links on your desktop. Um, you just need to open your Oracle um, virtual box and then you should most probably either not have anything here or should have like something without an XXC here. And that's the, that's actually the problem. Like if you uh, if the if the virtual image is not correctly linked in here, you need to start it. There's two ways of doing this. Um, either it's correctly installed and you just need to um, add it new for that you just need to go into your Andy and like double click this and then it should hopefully move this up I think it's like a little bit buggy for me because I already did it but you guys just need to all right there it is that should happen um, and then you go um, to import and I'm just gonna do it. I know know what's gonna happen because I already did it and like my other tunnel and before I fixed it like all right um, it worked so you just need to start it and wait till this this screen is over and after this screen is over you can actually close it and if you were lucky and it worked Andy is gonna start normally. That's it. Um, I'm just gonna like advise you on one other thing. I actually don't know how to properly say it in English. Uh, you need to have something um, turned on. Uh, it's a little bit uh, hidden on the website. You don't find it first. And uh, you need to activate your visualization settings um, and your CPU needs to support that. Uh, it's very easy. You just need to do it like in the BIOS settings like start your PC up, press 11, um, actually I don't know right now, press F12, F10 or something like that, and then uh, under like advanced process options, turn the visualization settings on, and then you should be all right. Yes, that should be hopefully uh, the two problems that you maybe had, and if I delete this now because. Uh, I have it already set it up and just um, do those two X's away it should work and you sh we should we should see sorry my English is literally not that good we should see my um, already started all right it's another desktop that's weird we should see how my already started Android shit I didn't say shit no I hear that Go. Yeah. So it's uh, all good, and then you can just start Clash of Clans or something uh, else, what you want to play, and you should be fine. So I hope you can understand me with my English accent, uh, I have my German accent, and I could have helped you. Uh, I, would, I would appreciate it if you would just um, leave a like if it worked, so I actually know how many people I like helped and if it didn't work then just ask me in the description and if you have like detailed problems like so, uh, some guys uh, in German asked me earlier like how can I move the 16-bit um, into 33 and some other stuff like just go ask your support like if you're having simple problems like it doesn't start you can ask me but if it's, if it's like deep technical shit i can't help you there just saying right now 
Uh, but yeah, I hope it's working for you and uh, have fun with your emulator. See ya.